Yo guys, what's going on? It is Savage here, and if you are seeing this, thank you very much for 40 likes. That's the only reason I uploaded this is because we got 40 likes on my run scheme out of the Cincinnati Bengals offense. So thank you guys very much for that. So today I'm going to be showing you a nice little five-man heater from the right side or the left side. You can do it on both sides if you want to flip the play. It's just the opposite of what I say. I'll explain what I mean. So now when I say uh, this is a fire blitz, it's a fire blitz, but it's not a blitz that you can just call every play and expect to just absolutely dominate your opponent. There's no blitz like that this year. There won't be a blitz like that this year because EA did a really good job at patching the gaps now because whenever you're setting up a blitz, normally you're baselining or you're showing blitz, you're sliding. Every AI player on your defense is assigned to a specific gap against the o-line even the guys that are in deep blues either whether it's a corner or a safety they're assigned to gaps as soon as their play recognition kicks in that it's a run play the reason that nanos don't work is because you're when you're doing your pre-play adjustments on defense whether it's base aligning and showing blitz pressing crashing middle you're now setting your ai's gaps off on defense because now your offense your, the other opponent your opponent's ai on offense is actually adjusting to everything that you're clicking so that is why there won't be a, an, an ex, a, like an explicit heater this year out of an a gap or a b gap a lot of people are just getting that swing heat i got a really really nice straight on edge get um right to the uh, quarterback it's just a straight run right into the QB um and it's very effective it's a situational blitz on third and longs or even second and longs if your opponent's trying to make it an easier third down on themselves and it's really really good um if you just blank at the first two plays and you force them to a third and long and you call this play and it comes through successfully and your opponent wasn't ready for it you're guaranteed to make them rage quit because they're not going to want to play against somebody that's just going to be situationally blitzing every single third down or every single key down, really. Um, and here it is, though. It's in the 3-4 Barrett's. We're, we're using the Buffalo Bills defensive playbook. Pinch Dog 3 is the play. Uh, we're just going to call a nice little shotgun play. And what you're going to want to do, now I'm going to set it up slowly, so it's probably not going to come in because when you're in practice mode, you got to set it up rather quick for the blitzes to come through. But I'm just going to I'm going to just you know talk it out i'm going to say exactly what i'm doing and then on the and then when i hike the ball it's probably not going to come through um it'd be pretty funny if it did but what you're going to want to do is you're going to want to baseline you're going to want to slide your d-line to the left you're going to want to slant them inside block uh blitz all of your linebackers and then you can throw these two linebackers into any zone you want normally what i do is i put this guy on the r1 i'll man him up on the r1 I'll just use her this guy in the, and then I'll just kind of you know just patrol the middle of the field so that when when they do hike the ball see I knew it wasn't going to come through because I set it up too slowly um so that when everything does work um you can you know get that extra extra amazing heat and it's just really really effective because now here it really is going to come through that time because I set it up quick enough um but yeah guys it's a very very easy setup all you're gonna have to do is just you know do you just gotta blitz everybody at first and then you just throw everybody in coverage and as you can see we're kind of we're getting that nice little lockdown um heat which I, I love that's what i i like i like that heat that has a lot of coverage on the field and since you're only sending five you're going to be getting six people in or you're going to have six people in coverage you're, you're only sending five which is what i love so right here like i said you're just going to be doing this now what i have been experimenting with is um is after i'm done doing my setup since it is a simple setup um is something like this like maybe moving him out a little bit more and then hiking the ball because then look he kind it's like it's the same speed i don't know if you guys seen anything different right there but you're seeing that it's coming in like pretty fire now i i i have nothing wrong with this blitz another thing you can do is is say they're running verticals you could put him on him him on him and have this guy just shadow over here and what you would do is is you would just use her this guy come around and you you could just patrol that area of the field it would make it very very simple for your defense um and it, it does it does make it easy it makes it really easy to um you know just just get your scheme down and stuff and as you can see it's coming in nine it literally has come in the only time it didn't come in is when i set it up really slow because i was kind of telling you what to do and every single time since it's just zooming right in right off that right side there's literally nothing you can do to stop that so you're just like i said it's baseline sliding your d-line left slant them inside blitz everybody throw your two guys into coverage right there 
and then you're just gonna hike the ball and you are off to the races like i said one last time it's gonna be a baseline shift your d-line to the left crash them in the middle all, a blitz all of your linebackers and then just throw these two into whatever zone you want put troll the field and you, you see sometimes you'll, you will get lucky and get a gap like that like that that's just the dumbest thing that's so dumb rare but uh, when that does happen, it actually increases the, um, it increases everything, like, extremely, like, you just get to the quarterback so much faster if you can get it through the glitch gap. Uh, you get that maybe one out of every 40 times you run it, and then you're just kind of hyped because, you know, like, then your opponent's really screwed if it's coming in through the gap like that. But look, running it again and again and again, I'm just showing you guys that, yes, this is by far it's an effective method to and i mean you're covering the flats too and say say you're one of those kids that are like oh the flats the flats are open you can literally just move this guy out here and then just start patrolling your way over here because that left side is blanketed there is nothing going on on that left side i just want to show you that there look so this is the setup you could start over here patrol down here and then just make it like the quarterback's not gonna have that much time because for whatever reason um a lot of people do they like to um they like to for what i don't know why they'll, they'll throw like their running bats and flats on long plays and they'll just try to you know get that yak that's not what you're supposed to do like on third long you're supposed to be taking them shots you're supposed to be taking them shots but i don't know um i'm about to end this video i'm just showing you it's a very very simple setup you got six guys in coverage it's great 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 coverage um like i said one last time baseline slide left crash into the middle you are going to then blitz all your linebackers and then throw the two on the left side of the screen in whatever zone you want i just personally like the baby blue on the left um and I, it's a it's a really 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 nice place in my opinion um not because i found it but because like it's just it's just like like that's that's what you want that's that's what we want uh there's nothing more i can say i'm just kind of just rambling now because i really do love this place just like look at that setup and then you can just go bah, and boom so yeah guys all you really need is a pretty quick uh, right outside linebacker overall probably does not really matter that much um but yeah guys it's pretty much all i got for you guys today um wow we almost got a gap right there we almost did get the gap but yeah i'm gonna run it one more time just so we can end it out on a high night so yeah you guys just leave a like comment if you need any help with the um with how to set it up and stuff um i'll, I'll be more than happy to help you guys it's it's not it's not a trouble at all so just leave a like if this did help let me know if you guys use it in games and stuff and yeah, guys, uh, comment if you want any more tips on how to be a better Madden player. I am top 10 player for now. I'm going to try to make up my third year. Um, and yeah, guys, talk to you all later. Thank you very much for watching. Bye-bye. Subscribe if you're new.